Hey everyone, this is the Mac Tips and Tricks guy. Um, if you ever get this error in iTunes, the iPhone, iPhone cannot be restored, this device isn't eligible for the requested build, I actually just had this error and I went online to find a video on how to fix it. So I thought I would share that with you guys also. So what you're going to do is go to, click on your desktop, so you see these up here. You're going to go to Go, and then you're going to go to Go to Folder, and you're going to type in forward slash private, and then hit Go. That'll bring you up to this folder. Open up ETC. And then you're going to find a file called Host with an S, this one right here. And now you need to actually edit this, but you can't edit it from within here. So go ahead and drag it to your desktop. And then you're going to right click on it from your desktop and hit open with text edit. Scroll the very bottom. Now you might see this um, at the very bottom. It says gs.apple.com and there's this um, number. Make sure that you have this number and only this entry. I actually found that I had another gs.apple one underneath it, so I got rid of it. But you need to make sure that you put a hashtag right in front of it with a space. Now on a Mac keyboard, a hashtag is if you hold on shift and press the number three, that'll come up. And that's what this is right here. So hashtag space and then this. Make sure you only have this GS Apple one. From there you're going to hit save. Go up to file and hit save. A lot of these save as versions these days are annoying, but okay. Quit that. And now you want to drag this back inside this folder, but before you do that I would delete this file that's already in here because I had errors with switching it over. So drag this file into the trash. You're going to drop it in there. And then you're going to empty your trash. Like that. Once this file is gone, you will then drag this file in here. I'm not going to do it, but I'm showing you. You're going to drag this file in here. And then you'll have to just enter your computer password and hit um, OK. So after that's done, when you go back to your iTunes, and you go to your phone, you should be able to check for an update and it should go through all the way and you won't get that error anymore. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments and thanks for joining me.